Okay, guys, and I need help. And I need two bears to form a trinity with me and help me to get to the Smiths in Ursa Manor East. Amy needs help. I need to get to help Amy. She is, I'm psychic. I know she's hurting and she needs help. She's probably overwhelmed with testosterone too, guys. So whoever can help me get there, I'm gonna offer them my services as a nanny, as my 50 year career in the healing arts, I can help them to heal. So help me to get there, whoever can help me, please. God bless you all, much love. So I'm still looking for any help I can get from any bears, I'm trying, I'm not having much luck, I don't know, where's all these bears we're supposed to be hooking up with each other and everything, and along the bear trail, and I'm not too far from where Owen left from Gig Harbor, I'm, I don't know, a couple, three hours maybe from there, I'm north of there, so near Bellingham, Washington, so if there's any bears there, it can be male, female, I have a car, I will pay for the gas, I will, I will compensate you in my healing services, I do professional aromatherapy massage, you see I use aromatherapy and all my food and ice cream and milkshakes and everything I make pretty much, you know, so, um, <clears throat> and then I keep, I have my, uh, email address and that in the uh, in the description and under most of my videos I think I'm not sure but I'll start doing that okay so anyone that's willing I just for right now I want to go help Amy I believe she's really stressed out I'm a medical intuitive this is my life I've been doing this for my whole life so I want to go help I can leave my stuff in this trailer and use it as a storage unit and maybe if somebody needs a place to stay they can have a place to stay but I need to get to them in Idaho so it's just one state away so I just if somebody could hitchhike here or two people come in one vehicle and then one person can drive my 94 Cadillac DeVille it's a tank that thing runs so nice and comfortable it's it's all the whatever I don't I'm not asking people to pay for it people think I'm asking for money I'm not asking for that I'm asking for somebody to drive my vehicle to get me there me and my two cats and maybe some of my plants my living things I need to take with me my healing stuff and my animals Okay, so anybody that can help me at gmail.com, please help a fellow bear here and look at it as an adventure. You can meet Owen. I'm heading right to his place in Sandpoint, Ohio. Ohio, not there is a Sandpoint, no, Sand, <laughs> Sandpoint, Idaho. Okay, so SOS, female in distress. I need some help here, please, guys. Help me. God bless y'all. Anyways, it's going to be a little dark here. I'm just putting stuff outside to get rid of it just to go because I'm heading to Idaho. You can't really see because it's so fucking dark. So I'm trying to get out of here. I need help. I'm trying to reach out to a couple bears. There's got to be bears in this area in Washington near, somewhere near where Owen lived in Gig Harbor. I'm only a couple of three hours from there. And I have a car. There's my car right here. My Plants, my living things, and some of my healing stuff, and 
I gotta get to Amy and help her. So whoever listens to this and can get this message to them, to the Smiths, this is for Owen to get Amy all the gold. He can play with the silver. Let Amy play with the gold. Let her revel in the gold. It will help her. She'll feel better in a few days. And then when I get there, I'll help work on their copper regulation. It's a whole, whole art. You just don't take a copper supplement. So um, anyway, try to get that message to him. Let, let her play and revel in the gold. Please get that message in. It's not looking good, Owen. Bears are not responding. I've only had maybe two. They're responding to my ideas about the uh, building the uh, dance hall. Go big, bigger than a utility center. Go dance hall and then use it as a utility center. Dance hall with a stage where I can dance and we can perform and have a orchestra pit. People, the bears are voicing their interest in that, saying that they play four instruments and they're this, that. They're, they, and there's a girl that once said she's always dreamed about doing choreography, so I'm planting the seeds. I'm planting the seeds. I'm with you, dude. I'm with y'all. So help me get there. Help line this up so I can get there. I have the the vehicle and the money. I even have a section eight to set up a housing thing there. So you won't have to be responsible for me and I will help you. I will help till the land. I will help milk the cows. I will help heal you guys with my healing abilities to help you draw out your own healing abilities. Okay, I'm there for you. Just help me get to you. Find somebody that I'm on the trail. I'm in Birch Bay, Washington. So whoever can come up with a come here with a truck and two people to help get me out of this hellhole, please. I'm asking with my heart. I will compensate you with my services. I give you the best aromatherapy massage you'll ever have in your life. I have millionaire clients that attest to that. So who out any bears can come to Birch Bay with a truck and help me get to Owens in Sand Point, Idaho. Please respond free a Gmail. Okay, God bless you all. And I'm uh, going to finish my joint here. <laughs> Love you. So I still need help getting to Owens and we can work together. I believe we would be a force like unreal. People are saying we need to get together. So anybody that can help make this happen, I need at least one truck and two people to form this trinity that Owen keeps thinking his bears have, and it doesn't seem to be happening with the bears. So find the things you can be grateful for. <clears throat> find love where you can find it. Help me get to Owen's. I'm bear tarry about. I'm working on it. Help me get there. Amy needs me. Amy needs me more than you know. Even more than she knows. And way more than Owen knows. Owen doesn't know how bad Amy has it. Please help Owen to see. She needs some support. A female support. She's over, overrun with testosterone. She needs a female support. And I'm going there to give it to her. Please honor me in this and send me all the energy and love and good vibrations you can to make this happen. God bless you all. Okay. Um, hello, guys. I just wanted to show you what I did with my um, rye bread that I made. I made this meal up for the very man that I'm mad at for reporting me two times and getting me into this bind I'm in that I'm having to find a place to live when I'm not doing well at all. You know I'm not. So thank you all for your prayers and, and love and light and goodness and just sending me all kind of good vibrations. I actually felt them and it's helping me to get strong and straighten up. So, you know, try to convert your 
your anger and rage into something good. So I believe this will turn into a good thing for me. I'm trying to encourage this man to get out from this trailer park. They're using him. And I can see it and I don't like it. And I'm tired of being lied to. And because I confronted them, of course, I'm targeted. And they want me out of here. And they reported me to the housing authority. Um, the Have yourself a very merry Christmas. It seems they've always been and would always be friends. Time to not change, but not that. Oh, poo. Dear Stone and Amy, hello. I am something, a cat, a healer who felt the call to come, um, hang on. Oh. Oh yeah, this lady, I, I'm just gonna, um, this lady came up to me this morning actually and really was jarring. So I, I didn't ask for a healer in my life. Um, I wasn't even gonna talk about it, but you sent a card. You're, you're not on a mission from God to come to me. Okay? You're, you're being very crazy so um thank you but no thank you all right um yeah i went to the post office this morning this lady was like ah! and I'm, I'm like all right uh it's like i'm on a mission to heal you i'm like why don't you heal yourself how's that sound um i don't want anything to do with that so no you're you're indulging yourself it has nothing to do with me so just know that that's if, if you would come up to my wife in that situation, she would probably have like gripped her knife. So you're not helping anybody. Yeah, I, healing rape. I even said that. I said, what you're doing right now is very rapey. All right. Doing a Helen Keller on you. How dare you? Bad oh, yeah, yeah. Stranger day. Yeah, but it's like it's the energy. It's like, eh, I'm, I'm coming to help. No, no. We don't allow people that we know around our kids without us. Do you have a mask on? No. Uh, she's fine. She's harm she appears to be harmless, but um, that's re it's a really crazy thing. Like most people that haven't been in the public eye or, or a lot of people don't know them, they don't understand what it's like to be approached by strangers on the street who feel they know you really, really well and you don't know them at all. Okay, and I'm actually really good at it because I like people and when people are like, oh man, you know, and I'm like, yeah, what's up, dude? But this whole like, I've come so long. I'm, it's like, no, 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 leave now. All right. Because I've been in the public eye now for 20 years. No, not that long, maybe 18 years of people coming up to me on the street randomly. And, uh, and so there's a whole spectrum of it. And, and that level of like fanaticism and like, I'm sent on a mission to find you. You have to understand it's, it's horrible to, to be around that. And oh no, I just have to convince you that I'm gonna heal you. You're not gonna heal shit. You, you, you gotta work on yourself. Why would anyone think that that approach would be well received? Uh, insanity, you know, cause in your mind, you, like, cause in, in people's minds, sometimes they talk to me and they think, oh, what? And th there can be a healthy element of that. And then there's a deranged element where people are like, if only, I know that you understand. Only you will understand. When you get in someone's face and, and you're real desperate and crazy, it's not healthy. You're trying to take something from me. You're not giving to me. And then I felt guilt, like on Christmas Eve, did I really turn my back on a, a desperate woman, you know? And I didn't because she was trying to get something from me. It wasn't organic, but I would have, you know, I do, I do feel a little guilt that I couldn't have helped, but my obligation is to myself and my family above crazy people. But, um, because you know, she, what she wanted from me wasn't something I could give her. 
You know, I just didn't want to be around that person anymore because I could see the crazy in her eyes. It was really crazy. And I know in her mind, everything, it didn't, she has so much to tell me and it didn't go well and all this stuff. And I do have um, uh, sympathy and empathy for that. I do. I would love if that woman felt better. But, um, you know, I'm just, don't come up to me in strange places and act like that. Because then she reached in her pocket and pulled out something and I was like, and that's why I took off. I'm like, what is that in your hand? Because it's like people want to kill you sometimes if they love you so much, you know? And guys, it was really deranged. Really deranged. Like worse than I'm even describing it because I don't want to embarrass people. Okay, so I, here I am. Oh. And this guy in here sits in here. This is my view, and you can see my how it changed. I'm going to do a part two here so you can see what I manifested in just a couple of days. Change this whole thing around. These people here, these Hindu people here, grabblers, are just awful. The owner walked in my room without knocking when I was naked. They're all the help quit. Nobody wants to work here, so there's no service, but no discount for that. But anything extra you want, God, for, they're going to really shock it up for you. So there's so many things here, and now I found out that there's black mold in here. No wonder everyone's getting sick. I've been getting sicker and sicker since I got here, and I felt good when I got here. So now I'm leaving to go to a different uh, in down the road and I will show you the difference between this and that and the other one's actually cheaper I'm living on credit though but I gotta do what I gotta do <laughs> I'm homeless now at 69 love you guys hope you're all well okay guys here we are part two what I transformed that view into this much better, eh? Look at the cedars. The cedars and out my window. Hopefully I can heal and do what I gotta do to get myself prepared for my continuing journey here. So, I don't know, two more weeks till I'm officially homeless. I'm living off of credit. <laughs> but, I don't know. I've been homeless before, and actually I was pretty happy then. On Friday Harbor, and uh, where else? When I left Canada, Friday Harbor, then, I don't know, Pittsburgh, California, and Washington. Yeah. So, my lease is officially up. On January 31st, I still have my Section 8, but I don't know where I'm going to use it. But I want to be on a piece of land. I want a homestead with Owen and the bears and Amy and the family and all the bear tari. I'm like one of the biggest supporters ever. So I might be going live. I might start doing more serious videos, but I got some healing to do here. So, so. Any help, love, good vibes, prayers, whatever you want to send me, I'll be taking your gifts. <laughs> Much love to all. Ciao. Good morning, everyone. It's Kat here, showing you my morning view. 
from my new home in my car where I'm freezing and feel like I have frostbite on my big toe of my left foot. No thanks to Owen's rejection of me. He's not helping me at all. I've sent him at least a half a dozen letters. Mr. Uh, good Guy letting me freeze to death in Sandpoint, Idaho, while he continues his nonstop e-begging for money. I'm living homeless in my car for money. Not even him. Yet he continues to beg for money. Mr. Hollywood, you can take the man out of Hollywood, but you can't take the Hollywood out of the man. I'm saying this because I'm basing it on his quote. 11, 11 a.m. on January 8, 2021, he said, and I quote, you cannot be disappointed by me. It is not possible. That is not true, Mr. Owen Benjamin Smith, who continues to ignore me as he keeps begging people for money so he can live nice and warm while I freeze to fucking death. Huh, Owen? him twice in the post office behind me as if somebody and he refuses to talk to me now look what's happening I get to talk about all he does come on bears come defend him huh come defend him e begging like that thousands and thousands of dollars from people a month while I stop four pounds and losing weight every day freezing to death I am 69 years old and here's another quote from Mr. Benjamin if you see or know of an older person needing help you help them He's letting me freeze to death in my car, ignoring every single letter I have written him, given him multiple opportunities to respond to me. He has my email. He has my, he had where I was staying on credit that I can no longer stay at these hotels, charging $60 a day. I'm on social security in disability and I only get 800 and some a month. I even posted it on my channel showing the actual amount I get in my $90. He won't even let me come help on his farm. The only begging I've done is asking him to let me come help on the farm, milk the cows and the goats and help Amy who needs help. He's so friggin' selfish. When I said I got a psychic call to come help Amy, he said, I didn't call for healing. Well, it ain't about you, Owen. Everything isn't about you. What are you gonna do now, huh? You got on you knowing exactly what you're doing. While I'm freezing in my car, I have like frost. No thanks to you. Thanks for all the help. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Wait till people get wind of this. You are deceiving people. As you go on your merry little way. Talking about how everybody's under the spell. Well, I'm way. And I'm saying you're under the spell everybody else while you laugh at them and ban them for life. 
How many people have committed suicide because you banned them for life? Are you hearing me, Mr. Smith? Mr. Smith goes to North Idaho? Huh? You led me here by your word. Deceiver, you. What are you gonna say to me, huh? That I'm crazy because you're exposed? Let's see what people think of Mr. Hollywood now. You ain't doing nothing but collecting money from people and claiming you're such a great guy when you're letting this happen to a 69 year old woman because I'm a boomer or because I'm a I know you got issues with them. Why don't you deal with your mommy issues, huh? Why don't you get over those? Putting it on other women and boomers. Yeah, there's a lot of dumbed down boomers through all this shit. And I see through your shit too. So uh, let's see what happens now, huh? While I keep telling about what you're really doing in real life, because I'm here to see it, dude. I'm here to see it. And I'm sick of it. I ain't having it no more. I'm letting people know how you really treat people while you tell them what to do and how to treat people, how to treat older people. You help them. Too bad, too bad for you that you got eyes on you. You're scared to death of me. I saw it in your eyes. Your big dog of little skinny me only 104 pounds and you're six eight and too fat for your fucking good don't even know that yeah that you're a soy and soy boy you might be getting over some of it and changing but you ain't changed enough yet to be talking to people like that and treating people like the way you've treated me so people are gonna start knowing because I don't lie. Talk about your wrath. Well, that's my one sin I got left. And that's what you're gonna get is my wrath. So call me a sinner if you want, but I don't have clearing of my pineal gland. My third eye can see really, really well. Better to keep you from making a fool of yourself and you keep talking and talking. So you're gonna have a lot of retracting to do unless you wanna just let people, let it slide and not let people know that you misled them like you misled me. You misled me all the way from Birch Bay, Washington, just north of Gig Harbor your little Ursa Manor. I am here in Sandpoint, Idaho. You are looking, people, you are looking at the mountain. Schweitzer Mountain, over 6,000 uh, feet. And I am suffering in this high altitude and cold. And Owen is not helping me, not helping this older person he tells everybody else to help while he lets me suffer. I keep sending him gifts and knowledge that I said you can even take credit for. He won't even acknowledge me. So he ain't what he says he is. Don't believe everything he says. He says some good things, but now he, he's going, he's still an entertainer more than an educator. And I'm an educator, I have a teacher's license over 50 years and I'm a master psychologist. I know have a good day everyone. Much love and blessings to you.